ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اما بعد dear brothers and sisters um First, I would like to address the brothers that we have been conducting the tafsir interpretation of the Qur'an on weekends, Saturday and Sunday in our mosque, Al-Hidayah, Croydon. And this is an extension of that two days, weekends, interpretation of the Qur'an after Salat al-Fajr. On Saturdays and Sundays, we have been doing this, alhamdulillah, we have done um, Juz Amma, and then now we started Juz Tabarak, we did Surah Al-Mulk, Surah Al-Qalam, and now we are in Surah Al-Haqqa. We are at the last stage or the end of Surah Al-Haqqa. And may Allah bless. And we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects all of us of this ongoing endemic. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us safe healthy and happy all times and i would like to start with a dua which is very essential in these circumstances and situations that every muslim should at least try to memorize or read from somewhere and it is by the will of allah inshallah by the will of Allah, it will be a means to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask him to forgive us, to protect us from these diseases. So if you could please kindly say after me or repeat later or memorize it better. Insha'Allah, do so. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-baras wal-junoon wal-judam wa min sayyi al-asqam. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-baras wal-junoon wal-judam wa min sayyi al-asqam. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika من البرص والجنون والجذام ومن سيء الأسقام. That is one dua. Another one is تحصنت بذي العزة والجبروت واعتصمت برب الملكوت وتوكلت على الحي الذي لا يموت. اللهم اصرف عنا الوباء وقنا شر الداء بلطفك ورحمتك إنك على كل شيء قدير. This dua and many more, as the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم advised us and recommend as well that in the morning before the sunrise and in the evening before the sunset that we say thrice three times بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم 
three times before sunrise in the morning, قبل طلوع الشمس, and before sunset, قبل غروبها, three times. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, None, nothing shall harm that person. لا يضره شيء. وكما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. Now, let us start inshallah our dars. We have been at the verse which in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فلا أقسم بما تبصرون وما لا تبصرون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about the people of Jannah, people of paradise. May Allah make us those who enter the highest level, al firdaus al-A'la. And those are the ones who would be given, who will be given their books of record by the right hand. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ Those who will take their book of record. Greatest achievements ever. Every test in this dunya. Whatever your success is cannot be compared to that of Akhirah in the hereafter. That is the greatest success. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honors his servants, the believers, that they will take their books of record by the right hand. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us those who are evil and treached and those who are doomed and those who are the people of hellfire, may Allah protect us from it. And they will get their book. It will be handed over to them by the left hand. And then what will happen? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about that in the previous verses. These previous verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about these two categories of people. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَلَا أُقُسِمُ بِمَا تُبَصِّرُونَ وَمَا لَا تُبَصِّرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, but no, I swear by what you see. What we see, our vision, our eyes, what our eyes can catch sight, our eyes can see, are limited. As we know that what we can see is something which is visible. There are many things that we can see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. Now, the viruses which are going around, may Allah protect us from it. I mean, we can't see them. Some of them cannot be seen by the naked eye. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created these. So what we can see, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, وَمَا لَا تُبَصِّرُونَ What you don't see as well. Allah swears in these two things, which are what we see and what we can't see. What we can't see is, we can't see the jinn, we can't see the malaika, the angels, we can't see the, the jinn, we can't see many things. We, I just mentioned some of them, uh, but many things we can't see. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that there are many things that we can't see, and those things we can see, both of them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes an oath and swears in them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, why this type of swearing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran? Because what's coming is the service is worthy of that type of swearing. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirms it. When we go back to um, um, what we can see and what we can't see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sworn in. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirms that the next ayah, 
innahu laqawlu rasulin karim innahu laqawlu rasulin karim there are certain emphasis in this ayah inna which makes it more confirmed that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says indeed verily that this is the speech of an honorable messenger an honorable messenger innahu laqawlu that lam in laqawlu also makes it more confirmed more emphasized rasulun karim honorable messenger innahu laqawlu rasulun rasulun karim so this ayah refers to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the honorable messenger who is mentioned here in this ayah is the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam there is another ayah in surah at-takwir in which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the same innahu laqawlu rasulin karim dhi quwwatin 'inda dhil 'arsh makin muta'in thamma amin then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring in that surah to at-takwir to jibril alayhi salam so both of them rasul al amin al wahi fi as-sama the one who is trusted with the trustworthy who is entrusted with the revelation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to transfer from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to amin al wahi fi al ard muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam the one who has been entrusted with the revelation from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the earth who is muhammad both are trustworthy both are honorable but here in this ayah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala innahu indeed verily laqawlu rasulin karim is the speech of an honorable messenger is muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam that's why we need the commentators the scholars to go back to them to ask them how could we now differentiate between these two ayats one in surah at-takwir the other one in surah al-haqa which one refers to jibril alayhi salam and which one refers to muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam we don't know that's why we have to go back warathatul anbiya those who inherited from the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam the knowledge innahu laqawlu rasulin karim that is the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ma huwa biqawli sha'ir qalilan ma tu'minun allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the people who lived that time in arabia with the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam the idolaters mushrikeen and the kuffar allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ma huwa biqawli sha'ir qalilan ma tu'minun we know that arabs were fond of poems and they were very eloquent in speech very articulate rhetoric when they speak that's why this mu'jiza is the quran is the speech of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent every messenger with a miracle that befits the people what the people of that time to whom he was sent they excel for example if we take musa alayhi salam let's take musa alayhi salam musa alayhi salatu wassalam ala nabiyyina afdal as-salati wassalam in time of musa people they were excelling in magic in black magic allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given musa alayhi salam a rod a staff a stick that when he throws it will turn transmute into a serpent and this serpent just picks all the big serpent it was very small it's not that big when he, whenever he casts it he throws it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given him has given him an example 
وألقي ما في يمينك تلقف ما صنعوا إنما صنعوا كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى So at the time of Musa عليه السلام those who excelled in the magic when Fir'aun Pharaoh guarded them summoned them to challenge and beat Musa عليه السلام they couldn't why it was a miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was given to Musa alayhi salam. But those others who were competing him, they were doing it by magic. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَا يُفْلِحُ السَّاحِرُ حَيْثُ أَتَى Now, in the time of Isa alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to Isa alayhi salam a miracle which is in the medicine. Because at that time, people who lived in the time of Isa alayhi salam and to whom he was sent, they excelled in medicine. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him something which is far, far, far greater than medicine, which is Hiya He comes to the person and he says to him, by the will of Allah, not by his will, never, ever. By the will of Allah, stand up. The dead person comes to life, stands up. And they bring him someone with leprosy, al abras And he touches him and he prays to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, give him a cure. With the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that person becomes fit, healthy. And those born blind, not those who became blind, born blind. When Isa alayhi salam, wa ala nabiyina afdalu salatu wa salam, he touched them, their eyes, and he prays to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, their eyes are open, they can see everything. In the time of our noble, the greatest of all creation, khayru khalqillah, salawatu rabbi wa salamuhu alayhi, the people at that time in Mecca, they were excelling in poet, eloquent, rhetoric, articulate in speech. None could challenge them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this book, the Quran, the noble Quran. The Arabs at that time, as it will come, inshallah, in our... Um, Tafsir إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلُ رَسُولٍ كَرِيمٍ وَمَا هُوَ بِقَوْلِ الشَّاعِرِ The people of that time, they were excelling in the poem. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down upon our noble prophet, our beloved, most beloved prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a speech which made them dumbfounded. They couldn't speak when they heard it. And Imam Ahmed mentions, it will come inshallah, that when in the tafsir of the um, second ayah, the, the third ayah of to this, Tanzilu min Rabbil Alameen, Imam Ahmed mentions a story about Umar ibn al-Khattab, how he became Muslim. Just by listening to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reciting. They understood the words, the Arabic words more than anyone else. Naturally. Bimujarrad al-Saliqa. Naturally. They were born. That's why the Bedouin Arabs, they were very eloquent. And I could mention some other um, instances and uh, analogies, uh, but the time factor is actually very important. So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no, the words, the speech of a poet. Insha'Allah we continue and bi'ithnillah al-kareem uh, insha'Allah it will be um, online uh, during this period of time and it's an emergency case. So insha'Allah uh, afterwards we continue in the masjid on Saturdays and Sundays after Salat al-Fajr. Everyone is welcome. Brothers are welcome. So if you could please uh, kindly come along 
and participate because it is Majalis al Dhikr, Halaq al Dhikr, and it is where the angels come and participate as well, and uh, also the presence of the Malaika, the angels, and the dua they, they, they make to, to, uh, for those who are there is very essential, very important, and uh, very blessed uh, circles of knowledge. We have some other uh, circles going on and uh, courses, uh, inshallah, in the masjid. So please um, uh, let uh, everyone know about that. And wa billahi tawfiq wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.